hey guys welcome back to MMI so guys in this video we will be learning about bearings so guys what is a bearing so a bearing is nothing but the machine element which supports another machine element so guys that is the standard definition of a bearing so guys we all know about the bearings which it permits the relative motion between the contact surfaces of the members or we can call it as a machine elements so while it is in motion and while carrying the load so guys the bearings are classified into two main types so let's see the classification that is the type one in classification so that is nothing but the sliding contact bearing and the second one is the rolling contact bearing in case of the sliding contact and rolling contacts it is shown over here in this image in case of the sliding contact the sliding of the takes place between the moving and the fixed element okay guys the one is the fixed and second one is the moving element whereas in case of the rolling contact the steel balls or the rollers are interposed between the moving and the fixed element okay guys so this is the main sliding and the rolling next one is the bearing type 2 classification okay so guys this uh, in this case we can call it as a radial bearing or else the thrust bearing okay so guys uh, the radial bearing and the thrust bearing these two are the major types so in case of the radial bearing the load acts perpendicular to the rotation to the direction of the rotation the load acts perpendicular to the direction of the rotation or we can call it as a motion whereas in case of the thrust bearing the load acts along the axis okay so guys along the axis of the rotation so this is the major difference between the thrust and the radial bearing so guys there are various combinations of the bearings so let's check out all those combination the first one is the sliding and the radial bearings so sliding plus radial bearing this is the combination in this case this a b and the c that is full journal bearing partial journal and the fitted journal bearing so this two these three all types are there in case of the full journal means the angle of the contact of the bearing with journal is around 360 degree 360 degree in partial journal means the angle of the contact between the bearing is with the journal is 120 degree and in case of the fitted journal means the diameter of the journal and the bearing is equal or there is no clearance between the journal and the bearing so guys the second type is nothing but the sliding plus thrust bearing so guys uh, in this image we can see over here this is the or the sh shaft is hosed between this uh, bush that is the bush bearing we can call it as this is the bushed bearing okay this is the sliding also rotation and the thrust also uh, over there maintained okay this is sliding plus the thrust type of the bearing so this is the second image is the split bearing so guys and the third type is the rolling that is rolling plus radial bearing so guys uh, in this image this is these are the parts of the ball bearing okay it is shown over here this uh, parts of the ball bearing this is the typical ball bearing and its parts okay and the second one is this uh, the the balls have been replaced by rollers in this second image that is the roller bearing okay so that was the radial plus roller bearing guys so the ball and the roller bearing the ball and the roller bearing consist of the inner race which is mounted on a shaft of the journal and and the outer rest which is carried by the housing or the casing okay in between the inner and the outer race there are the balls or the rollers which are present as shown in this figure okay so guys the fourth one is nothing but the rolling and thrust bearing so guys this is the fourth one and the last one this is the rolling and plus thrust bearing so as we can see this is the cylindrical rollers are 
um, mounted over there between the inner and the outer rays okay so that was the cylindrical roller bearings okay so in this image the second image this is the spherical roller bearing as this is not a cylindrical there is a slightly spherical shaped over there in case of this bearings and this one last one is the needle bearing so the diameter is very much reduced in this case of the cylindrical bearings and this one is the tapered bearing okay the last one this is the angular taper this can be seen in a lot of automobiles guys so this is the tapered roller bearing so guys that was uh, the basically the classification and the introduction of the bearings so guys uh, thank you for watching my video i hope you like my video so guys please uh, you uh, please like my video if you have to have any comments and queries please comment below in the box okay so also guys we are on the social media please do follow us on the social media as well so thank you for watching us watching our video guys god bless you happy learning